Breaking news this morning is happening at 8th and Wyandotte right now. That's right next to the interstate. So a lot of police activity happening here right now, and we're learning this all started at the Auraria campus. So 7 News reporter Eric Lofer is on the scene. Eric, what do we know about the situation so far? Well, Kelly, a lot happened in a very short amount of time. First of all, 8th and Wyandotte is still closed off. 8th closed in both directions. You can see the vehicle that was involved, a white Chevy Cavalier. You can see both the driver's side and passenger side doors wide open. Major damage to the front end of that Chevy. Here's what happened. Earlier this morning, two men were trespassing, according to police, at Auraria campus when they tried to run over an Auraria campus police officer who tried to contact them. That is when Denver police got involved. We're being told officers tried to pull the Chevy over at 8th and Decatur. That didn't work, and there was a a small chase. The Chevy was going westbound here on 8th when it eventually lost control just before Wyandotte, and this is when it gets even crazier. Officers surrounded this vehicle. The driver claimed he had a gun. Police officers are telling me he reached into his coat. That's when they used less lethal force, as they're calling it, by shooting pellets into the car. Foam bullets were being told. That didn't work. The driver ran, and then police finally tased him and arrested him. The passenger was also arrested, so two men have been arrested after all of this. A crazy night for police. 8th and Wyandotte, we've got it closed off right now. 8th closed in both directions near the interstate, and we'll be in, sure to stay in contact with Denver police as we get more details for you. We have a video of an arrest as well. That's coming up at 5. Back to you.